Shalom, family. I pray all is well with the righteous and few. Uh, this video here, you have to see this video. The name of this video, let's see how we are reliving 70 AD today. This is coming from the book of Josephus. And what I did, the Most High allowed me for the first time ever to load up a portion of our message from our last Shabbat class. What I did, I put together, the Most High allowed me to put together the notes that I had for years concerning uh, Josephus and the war, what happened in 70 AD when the Romans came in and took them down. And so I've had these notes for for some years. I've, I've, I've used these notes in our class. Uh, I share some of them in a few videos, not many. But I kept reading over them and, and, and the most high press upon me to put this all together and, and make it make it a class. Why? So that people could understand what happened before will happen again. You see here, uh, it's 70 AD, a history class. All right, quickly, what I'm going to do here. A history class of what happened in 70 AD and how it is happening again what happens when we don't flee here are the questions here that I'm asking that that's that's been answered in this message did Yahuwah deliver the poor many people this video will put to rest many people that says things like you mean to tell me he's not going to save the poor He's not going to deliver the poor. They don't have money to flee. So is he not going to deliver the poor? These are the questions. This is one of the questions they be asking concerning the poor. And what we don't understand is the scripture spoke it so clear. But we don't understand when he says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. If the poor lacks knowledge, destruction we will put in our land of our captivities for our destruction i've shown you how we served our enemies and not serving the most high so this was a promise it happened in 70 a.d did he deliver the poor you will find out what were the signs that destruction was coming the most high gave them signs the most high gave us signs today of destruction coming one of the signs was a voice crying out daily every day woe woe to this woe to this place woe to Jerusalem woe to this people woe woe we're we're crying out today woe to the inhabitants of Babylon woe Babylon is is will be destroyed with fire woe woe and see Jerusalem was destroyed with fire. Will we, will we put our differences aside and come together and fight against our enemies? This is one of the things people think we're going to come together. All these different camps, all these different beliefs, all these different names. We're going to put all our differences aside, come together and fight against the enemies. Did they do it? In 70 AD, did they put their differences aside? And that'll let you know if we're going to put our differences aside or not. Do we all, here's another question. People say, you left too early. You didn't wait to 2019. 2019 is the year of return. 2019, 400 year captivity is up. The most high knows when the captivity is up. He will not wake us up before the captivity is up he will visit us after the captivity when you get a visit captivity is over no debating no going back and forth with people it's over so th th they think that we left too soon and that we left out of egypt together so we're going to leave babylon together the question did they leave in 7 a.d did all of them leave together So that these questions and more will be answered. This this video here, uh, warning is I had, it's a little it's a war, 
there was a war. So it's a little graphic. Parts of it, when you get to the middle, near to the end, it's, it will get a little graphic. Um, Josephus gave details. And we went into the details of this battle, of what happened. One thing that I, I failed to mention in the video that I should have mentioned, our people today, we're, of course, we're celebrating feast days. I mentioned that. One of the feast days they're trying to celebrate is the Feast of Dedication. Listen, what we're reading about that what they're celebrating, it's dis it's desolated. So what are they celebrating? The place has been desolated again. And they're celebrating the Feast of Dedication? You see, these are people that's out of tune, out of touch with scripture and reality. The reality of nothing coming but famine and death among gooey. Nothing coming but Jacob's trouble. They don't understand it. So they're celebrating all these days, all these feast days. See, that was a very important point you need to know concerning these feast days that our people are celebrating today in the land of captivity. Let me make this clear. In the land of captivity. You're going to see how far off we are. But what you have to do is compare where we're at today in 70 AD. And you're going to see, uh, you're going to see a lot of what they went through. We're doing it now. We're going through it now. We're in the midst of it now. And you will have a remnant. There will be only a remnant that will heed the voice of the most high. This is just, this is just how it is. This message, uh, the reason I put it out. It's on archive. I'm going to leave the, the link here. It's on archive. Uh, our people don't know this. So when I went over this, I went over this to, to give, I put it together. I went over it before I gave it to my family. And I realized how important it is. And this is the reason that I put this up. This will be one of the most important videos you will hear. Our people are not discussing this in details. They may mention it, but they don't discuss it in details. I went into details. Our people need to know this. Within the borders and outside the borders. There are a lot of very, very important quest, uh, uh, important points, important things we need to know for those within the borders. If you're not within the borders, a lot of the things that we discuss in our Shabbat class, it's not for you. I'm sorry. So we go over some vital information. We're not playing when the Shabbat comes. We're not playing on the Shabbat. We're preparing for the wilderness. This is what we're doing. Anybody doing anything else? They're laboring in vain. This is what the scripture says. Our people are laboring in vain. So after you watch this video, you will have a different mindset. If you have your mind to come out, this will, this will give you a boost to help you in your exit this will give you some extra drive to do whatever it takes it's a little lengthy um but it's it's i had to it's that vital i had to go over i had to 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 go over all of it i didn't split it up i wanted to get it in. i i i was holding this for some days i put it together and I had to get it out, and that's what I did. Now I'm, I'm relieved. It's a big relief off of my shoulder. This video, of course, it will help you. It will help you understand where we at. It'll help you understand how the Most High reaches his people and how his people are deceived by other people. This is what we were warned. Yahushua told us. Yahushua told us. Deception 
Take heed that no one deceive you. Deception will be an all-time high. So you will see, 70 AD, deception, it was an all-time high. False teachers, false prophets. This is where we at today. All different kind of information. What to believe, what not to believe. All these different, th that was a plan and a plot by the enemy. All these different names, that was a plan. That was a plot from the enemy so that we could never know the name. Arguments, debate, all this is a plot. These are tools of the enemy. And the, and the enemy use these tools against us. The enemy will make sure we fight against each other. This is what happened in 70 AD. They made sure the people fight against each other another point before i finish here you know people want to they they they, they want to know about the elderly and young people the most high wouldn't kill elderly and young people it, did that happen in 70 a.d did the most high allow young and the old the elderly what the deuteronomy we have to revisit the curses of deuteronomy 28 the enemy will not res have respect for the old or the young. The enemy doesn't care. None. No respect whatsoever. Make sure you check this video out. Take notes. Pray about it. Meditate on it. Allow this word to settle within your Ruach like no other word. Our people are not getting this. Our people don't know this. So the question must be asked, why, why we don't know this in detail? Why is it? They don't know, want you to know. They don't want you and I to know what's coming so that we would repeat that we would have another repeat of what happened before the old saying is if you don't know history we're bound to repeat it we have to learn from history and this is a history lesson a history class and you will learn you will have more knowledge to add to the knowledge that you already have now Okay, when you finish watching this video, leave a comment. Let me, you don't have to leave it soon because you're going to need some time to, to allow this message to resonate. It's one of those, it's, I warn you, it's thick. It's very, very thick. There's nothing to tickle your ear. It's, it's very thick. And some of our people will not be able to handle it. But this video will put the rest, all these people, making up these excuses. They can't flee for this. They can't flee for that. The Most High wouldn't do this. The Most High is going to gather us. When these people come in the comment section, I'm going to direct them to this message. No more am I going to answer those questions. They will get directed to this message. Because I'm done answering that same question over and over. The Most High, I'm not going to allow this. He's going to gather us. Did he gather them in 70 AD? He's going to get that. That question will be answered. Did he gather us in 70 AD? Surely he wouldn't leave us to die. Surely. Remember, he's a loving and kind and gentle. This is a Christian mentality of the creator. That's, he's nothing like what the Christians teach and believe. To the contrary, they have it. That's just like the enemy, opposite. Giving us opposite, law of attraction. The, 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 this is what they're doing. The law of reversal, doing the opposite. Most High say he's a man of war. And all they want us to talk about is love. He's a mighty one of love. Love, love, love. He wouldn't leave us to die. So check this message out.
Make sure you be ready to digest it again. It is thick. You have been warned. Shalom.